A few months ago, Lead was kind enough to send me all of their three knee braces for a test. And here's what I found out from those knee braces. First off is the Z-frame. The good thing is that this is a really solid brace and it's really cheap to buy. It's only 299 US dollars. The brace itself feels really light and not too bulky on your leg. The grip to your bike is really, really good and you don't even notice this properly when you're riding. Because of the really good undersock that all these lead braces come with, you can wear these for many hours without noticing any rubbing on your leg. The downsides of these braces are that the material feels plasticky and not so high quality, as you can imagine from the price. The strap system in this brace feels quite odd at first, and I think the straps won't last that long. All in all, the Z-frame feels really solid option for anyone moving from knee pads to knee braces. Next up is the new version of the popular Z-frame, and this is the Z-frame Pro Carbon knee brace. The overall feel of the brace is really high quality, both in materials and the padding you get with this brace. With this brace you need to spend some time adjusting it to your knees. I really liked the straps that these C-frame braces come with because they keep the brace on your leg really really well. With this open type C-frame design you get a really good grip to your bike. I have used the older version of this C-frame brace for many years and I think that they have finally fixed the screws coming loose problem that the older models had. After running these braces for approximately 15 hours, I didn't notice any single screw that had come loose. So that's a really good thing compared to the older model. The downsides of this brace is the knee cups. They are really easy to break because it sticks pretty far out from your knee and especially in winter the plastic won't hold up. Another thing that I noticed while using this brace is that it eats a hole to your pants pretty easily. One thing to keep in mind as well on these C-frames are that there is no protection on the inside of your leg. I have had some bruises on the inside of my legs without even crashing and they have come only from hitting the bike with my legs so keep that in mind when you're choosing the right brace for yourself. To sum up the C-frame, it's a really solid brace with high quality parts in it, but somehow I didn't find it to be perfect for my legs and to my use. Last but not least is the X-frame brace. And the good things are that these feel really good on your legs. It's amazing how comfortable these are. I have spent like 10 to 12 hours on the bike with these braces and I couldn't feel any rubbing anywhere. The touch or feeling to your bike isn't as good as with the Z-frames as you can imagine, but still it's really good and not too bulky because the, the frame of the brace is narrow. The straps keep your braces on the place where you tighten them and they don't move easily. One thing to mention is that there's not so many breaking or loosening parts in these braces, so they are a really good option for heavy users that use braces almost daily. Only downside I noticed from these braces are the straps. They wear down pretty fast. I used these braces for 15 hours and I already noticed some wearing out. All in all, this is the best brace for my legs and for my use from the whole lead lineup. I have been racing with these braces, I have gone down, I have like crashed a lot with these braces. And there's nothing broken on the brace and there's nothing broken on my leg. So I would say this is the, by far the best brace I have ever used so far. So that was my take on the lead knee brace lineup. Please don't do the same mistake that I did and I crashed with the knee pads only and couldn't walk for two weeks. So go get yourself a good set of knee braces. Uh,
Hajoskohan jotain? Thanks for watching this video and hit a like if you liked it, hit a dislike if you didn't and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>